actually in the screen. Yep, right in the bullseye middle. And it's recording. I don't like it. Why? Because you're not smiling right Well, I'm not ready to shoot yet. <laughs> Hey y'all, it's FG here again. Hey, um, to uh, be able to accommodate uh, certain younger people's insatiable needs for power and device recharging, I am adding a socket in the rear seat area here so that they can plug in their phones and whatever else they may be carrying around and this also has a built-in voltmeter which is pretty neat um, actually it'd probably be better if I showed it to you right side up there we go and uh, so this is going to go right in there so I just fabricated myself a little harness here I uh, used some uh, right angle spade connectors I put an inline fuse although this is actually going to get connected back into the trucks harness let me see if I can get a view in here if you can actually see it uh, down in here is the yeah okay that doesn't look too bad this is the back of the center console and uh, as you probably know there's a 12 volt cigarette lighter up inside there so I'm just going to tap into that and uh, this little charger here is going to give me a voltmeter readout and also be able to charge two devices uh, sorry about the reach here two devices uh, simultaneously so this is a nice little piece and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the install here catch you in a few minutes okay so here we are back again and uh, as you can see I've got that fed through and uh, the nut installed and I'm just gonna go ahead and tap into these wires here which are provided by the factory this is the back like I said of the uh, cigarette lighter there and I've got just my harness hanging down so I'm just gonna go ahead and do a, a simple splice in there I mean that's uh no big deal, not exactly rocket science. Um, I did use the 90 degree angle uh, connectors on the back of this unit uh, because the inside piece of uh, the uh, storage bin is actually sloped and as you get further towards the top uh, the space tends to uh, start disappearing. So you need to be very careful uh, that your rear depth uh, is okay. Mine actually is very very tight. The wiring is actually uh, up against the console and uh, actually gave me uh, a couple seconds of uh, angst there so if you're thinking about installing one of these I'd probably recommend bringing the hole down probably about maybe a half to a three-quarter inch uh, and have uh, it more down in this area instead of uh, where I ended up just to give you a little extra space um, everything worked out okay it is in and the nuts tightened and uh, I'm looking forward to uh, to firing this up. Um, if you recall, when I did the one that was mounted in the bed, and I had mentioned that I had problems uh, with the uh, the ground lead, that um, the bed is actually not grounded to the rest of the truck. Brilliant, thank you, Nissan. Uh, this was actually one of the pieces I used for my testing. I just uh, quick plugged um, this guy in just to see what was going on, and the voltmeter fired up and. Uh, told me that it was only uh, five and a half volts so yeah that was uh, that was a bit of a problem but that uh, project turned out pretty good and uh, the um, the uh, problem there got got remedied did manage to get that fixed it, it turned out to be fairly simple just had to run a ground lead so um, yeah you might run into things like that from time to time um, electricity can be can be fun most of the time uh, wiring goes pretty smoothly but every once in a while you'll run into one where you'll be scratching your head a little bit and you'll be going okay Nissan what did you do so I hope you've been enjoying these videos um, we are approaching uh, 22,000 views total for uh, all the videos so I want to give a quick shout out to everybody especially those uh, 402 people who have subscribed to the channel thank you thank you thank you very much very much appreciated hope to uh, continue bringing you these videos in the future and uh, you know possibly uh, hopefully be upgrading equipment along the way um, getting some better cameras and uh, things of that nature so that we can 
you know, kind of uh, start stepping towards more of a professional uh, type of look. Uh, whereas kind of right now we're sort of uh, definitely in the backyard mechanics uh, type of realm. But hey, everybody started small. So we go from there. So again, thank you to everybody who has subscribed. If you haven't yet and you're watching this video, please mash that subscribe button. That would be huge. It would be very much appreciated. Um, trying to get another 600 at least to get me to a uh, thousand which is uh the youtube minimum so that would that would be great and again thank you for everybody watching i really hope that these videos are um, instructional to the level uh that you're looking for if not please leave comments tell me hey you know i really didn't understand how you got from uh, step three to step four there should have been a step 3a explaining what happened in the middle don't be afraid please um <laughs> these are these things are, are, are really hard to make because you don't have any kind of a live audience. You have no feedback. You really don't know what's going on. You're just kind of talking uh, into a camera or a smartphone and hoping that your nonsensical rants um, get to the other end and actually make sense to the audience. So <laughs> um, here's uh, raising a cup of cheer to nonsensical rants, and I uh, hope to catch you soon. going to wrap this project up. See you until uh, FG signing off. Until next time.